Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I thought I would break things down in the simplest of simple ways and do kind of a revamp of a video I did many, many moons ago. And when I say many moons ago, I mean not in my last place or the place before that, but in the first apartment, like seven years ago when I first started uh, filming YouTube videos, I did a drugstore starter kit. If you wanna bronze up the face and you don't wanna spend oodles and oodles on bronzer, a really great thing to grab is $2.99 from NYC. This is an incredible matte bronzer. It has been that long since I've redone this and so many of you guys ask me, hey, I'm new to makeup, what should I buy? I feel overwhelmed. What can you recommend that wouldn't totally break the bank, that would get me a lot of mileage and it's that kind of specific request that I kept seeing. And I wanna share with you guys that you can get a full, beautiful glam look done simply and on a budget and just kind of pick out the best of the best. So this isn't like a full breakdown of like my favorite drugstore lipsticks or my favorite this or that. This is just a system that I feel will get you far if you're new to makeup, if you're overwhelmed and you want a lot of functionality out of your product and you also don't wanna spend a ton of cash. I have both things covered for you, so let's just do the chicken. I don't know where I was going with that. I always say let's hop in and then as I'm saying it, I'm like, I don't really know where we're hopping to, but we're hopping into the land of drugstore makeup, I guess. Uh, let's hop there together on the count of three. One, two, and she's back and um, hopping into it. I have to say, I'm pretty proud that we didn't spend like 10 minutes getting to the start of this video. It's an accomplishment. So first thing is first, we gotta talk about the face. You wanna do something to even out your complexion, whether you are a full glam, full coverage kind of a gal or boy, or if you like light, just like a little smooth out, like we gotta do something with the skin. Starting with foundation to make the skin just a little bit prettier, more even, more fabulous. I wanna recommend that we go right into it and bypass, we're just gonna like kind of like veer along the primers because if you are a beginner in makeup, you probably don't want 20,000 steps. Let's just get used to a good routine that is fast and then build from there. I have so many videos on recommendations for primers. I talk about primers an awful lot. I will have my best of the year drugstore face products coming up and there will be a few solid primer recommendations in that video. So right now what I wanna focus on is just giving you a couple of options to simplify and start out on your makeup journey. Whether you are younger, whether you are further on in life, you know, this is an all ages approach. So we're gonna just keep it easy and simple and super, super budget friendly. This would be the easier version. So we're gonna have like the easy version and the super easy version, you take your pick. They will both get you far as far as perfecting the complexion. For the easy version, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation that smells horrible and is a little bit concerning, but there's just not much else at the drugstore that is cruelty-free, $5, and totally killer at making your skin look super awesome. It just works on so many different skin types. It gives a natural matte finish. It is not overly dewy, it is not overly matte, it is just a natural skin look. This has a consistency that is very user-friendly and not frustrating, so you're gonna be able to smooth everything, look great, not a lot of dollars out the window, not a lot of time spent, build up the coverage in areas that you like and everything's gonna look seamless, beautiful, wear well, photograph well. So many things to be happy about with this foundation. So that is the easy. This is the super duper easy. This is the cushion foundation. You have your SPF of 15 in here. This does contain coconut. Recently, I have removed that from a lot of my uh, foundations and, and I just, I find that it gives me little teeny tiny breakouts. But if you don't have an issue with coconut, and I have to say like, I don't feel like I ever broke out from this one specifically because it is very light, but I did want to give you a heads up on that. I really don't want to hear you guys be like, Tati, you're recommending stuff to us, but you're not using it yourself. I don't think, the removal of certain ingredients is gonna be right for everyone, so I'm still gonna speak on stuff 
as a whole, but I will point out to you things that I found out and that I notice about products. So this one does contain a little bit of coconut, but it is very lightweight. It does not feel heavy on the skin at all. It makes the skin look so pretty. Everyone that I recommend this to is like, wow. All you do is open this puppy up, you grab a sponge, bam, 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 stamp, 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 blend out, beautiful. So these are my two go-to recommendations for ease of application and beautiful skin at the drugstore if you are a beginner. Actually, if you're advanced too, I think you would like those. So moving on from there, I think that you do need a good concealer. The drugstore has a ton of them. The one that I am like sucked right back into is from Catrice. And I can't stop looking at the label of Catrice recently and calling it cat rice because a few of my friends were joking around about that. And so every time I see Catrice now, I'm just like, meow, I'm like cat rice. Meow. Am I the only one? Probably. Um, so I know that my grandma's probably laughing at that joke. Grandma loves her cats. Anyway, this right here is a beautiful, high, high, coverage concealer, but it is easy to blend and that's why I like this because we're going for ease of application. So this is going to brighten up the under eye area. It has a really great doe foot applicator. It doesn't have the greatest of shade ranges. If you need a deeper shade and you want that same type of an effect or you want to color correct, I would go with the LA Girls Concealer. I will list that in the description box below. Moving on from there, I think that it is necessary to set the face. So even if you're not into contour and blush and highlight and you're just going, oh my God, I just wanna put some little bit of makeup on and get to work, you know, like I get it. If you're putting something cream liquid on the skin, you do wanna set it and it's not even about the immediate look of it, it's about the wear time. So that little extra effort is going to make the work you did over here doing your foundation and concealer last longer. Who doesn't want that? My sister, Nurse Erica, she's always asking me, she's like, could you do like a tutorial specifically for the nurses out there? Because we would like to know how to make our makeup last longer. And I feel like you can do a few things. Even at the drugstore, you can make sure that you are powdering your face after application of foundation. You can make sure you use a good setting spray. And you can also make sure that you use things like a waterproof mascara or waterproof liners. Look for that keyword, long wear waterproof, it's there. If you are new to makeup, if you are building your beginner's makeup kit, I would say avoid the loose powder. That is for, that's like when you level up and you're like, okay, what else can I do? I've mastered this over here. But while you're starting out for ease of keeping it in your makeup kit, for ease of application, go for a pressed powder. Now you can pick out a powder foundation. It will have a little more pigment to it. I personally really, really love that. Or you can just do a touch up powder if you don't want to add more color to the skin. One of my favorites is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. Now this one has a lot of pigment to it, which I really, really, really love. You can set underneath the eye and brighten it up quite a bit. I also super love the Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation from JCAT. I'm so back into this, oh, in such a good way. <gasps> this just has this buildable, beautiful, non-creasy, non-cakey thing going on. And if you can get your hands on this, go for it. It is beautiful. This will set everything and you can build it up in areas that you want to brighten, like underneath your eye, but you can really just do a sheer dusting all over the face. It's gonna lock everything in. I am also totally loving the Collab Beauty from Sally's. Go on down to Sally's. I know it's not the drugstore, but same prices, same kind of a thing. And this one is a shine reducing powder. So for my oily gals out there, I wanted to recommend something that's really great. Um, also a tried and true one would be Rimmel Stay Matte. That is a fantastic powder for $5 that will just eliminate shine. So if you have shinier, oilier skin and you're like, oh my gosh, I just, I really need to lock this all in, go that avenue. If you are uh, like me and you have combo, leaning dry, I would recommend one of these two. For the face, my number one recommendation for bronzer is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This one is so nice. It just goes on in this airbrush way. I am wearing it right now. I love this. I will not ever part with it. I think it is one of the very, very best bronzers just in the world, not even drugstore, just like, in the whole 
makeup arena. It is so, so nice. It has the best finish. It is really goof proof and easy to blend, which again is why I am recommending it for a beginner. This is something that you can use in the crease of your eyes. You can use to slightly sculpt. You can use all over the face to just warm it up. You can take it down the neck, on the chest, on the body. It's a gorgeous bronzer and I would definitely recommend even if you think you don't need a bronzer. This is something that will just bring back life and warmth when you have kind of flattened everything out with your concealer and your foundation and your powder. Even if you're not a blush girl, get a bronzer. If you are a blush girl and you're like, I wanna take that dive, I want that extra step, I'm spending time on skin, which by the way, I really feel that when you are beginning in makeup, focus on the skin. You don't need to be doing a smoky eye, you don't need to know how to do a cat eye, you don't need to know how to do like crazy liquid lips, just stick with skin, get to know that first, see how you feel, see if it boosts your confidence, and then move into these other avenues. So I am giving you a few options for the skin. Don't feel like, oh my gosh, you just gave me like 10 things to do. What do I, I don't even know where to start. Just focus here and don't get overwhelmed. We are gonna talk about eyes, but we're not gonna get too crazy with it. So for the face, I definitely recommend a good blush. I would also suggest if you're starting out and you don't know what looks good on you and what doesn't as far as shiny versus matte, stick with matte. That is gonna be more flattering across the board. We're gonna add our highlight to the high points of the face and not focus on putting shine everywhere because if you have any texture to the skin, if you have oilier skin, it's not gonna be a good look. So start Start out with something matte. This is a beautiful blush from Milani. This is the Awakening Rose Powder Blush number 10. They have a bunch of different shades. They are all fabulous. Also from Milani, they have one of my most favorite highlight trios. This is like a makeup Care Bear Stare. That's what I have decided a highlight is. It's just like Care Bear Stare. Mm. This right here, we're just gonna do a one, a two, a three, I'm gonna show you how gorgeous this is. And the reason that I would recommend getting a palette situation for a highlight like this is because we're gonna use this as eyeshadow as well. It is the easiest thing in the world to just kind of go right in here on the high points of your face. I'm gonna show you. So I'm just gonna kind of do a tap right in there. And just all you do is just that, that's it. Done and done. You can take it right on the cupid's bow. You can go boop, boop, boop right there. Kind of push that up the bridge of the nose to slim it out a little bit. But the nice thing you can do with something like this is you grab it on your finger. And if you're not into wearing any eyeshadow at all, what you can do is just tap this all over the lid. You don't need a crease color. You don't need a brow bone highlight. You don't need a liner. You don't need an outer corner color, whatever. Just tap a little bit of something juicy and reflective like this, throw on some mascara and you're good. So you can get a lot of use out of this. I love it so much. It wears so gorgeously and it sits on the skin beautifully for many different skin types, whether you have texture, no texture, dry skin, oily skin. It's one of my favorites at the drugstore, so I wanted to chat about that. I do also super love Wet n Wild highlighters, so those are great options as well. Now, moving into eyes, I just wanna share with you guys, I know I th I'm like beating a dead horse with these, but I'm wearing this today right now from Collab Beauty. This is again from Sally's. This is the best of the day and it was so easy. Like I just feel like why is this like so alarmingly easy to blend? It feels like a Viseart palette. It honestly is just so gorgeous. Starting out, whether you are into, you know, neutral cools or neutral warms, stick with your neutrals. It might feel very boring and you might look at this and go, Mm, I guess I'm just kind of basic and not exciting, but you know what? You're gonna look gorgeous. This is gonna be very easy to apply, useful, great for every day, you know, and then down the line, if you wanna do something punchy and fun, like, you know, a teal blue, you can kind of work your way up to that. But I think that sometimes we get sucked into these like really fun colors and they're fun to purchase and then you go home and unless you really have, you know, your makeup down and your skill down, you look at this and you're like, why did I do that? I don't even know how to use this. So baby step into it and make sure you get um, a good and boring palette, but get one that is really great at performance. 
And the two that I recommend would be Milani. This is a matte palette and it is just stunning through and through. Very buttery, easy to blend, long wearing. It's called the Everyday Eyes in Basic Mattes. I like this one so much better than any of their larger palettes like this. It's also a better price, so I love that. And then from the Collab Beauty, I really like this one here. This is best of the day. And I like it because you have, you know, a matte creamy color, a great transition color that's nice and warm. You have that orange, which you can put right underneath the eye, super flattering. You have a brown right here that's really great for that outer corner if you like to do that, or if you want to kind of baby step exploring a smoky eye, you could use this one or you can wet a brush and use it as liner. You can put this in your brows. Like find use for these neutral tones that like extend outside of just my eyeshadow. And then if you wanna pump things up, go back into here. Even if you're into like this whole type of a vibe that I have on my eyes, what I did is I took an itty bitty brush like this and I just, this is the only shine that is on my eyes today. And it just gives such a beautiful, Beautiful look, it's still glowy, it's still really radiant, but everything here is completely matte. I did the same little flick of highlight underneath the high point of my brow, and that is it. And I think it's super flattering. So you can get a lot done between these two. If you want a great, great pair of lashes from the drugstore, go with some by Ardell. I like their mink version of lashes that are synthetic, they're mink inspired in the way that they are cut. I also love their double wispies, the double ups. These are what I'm wearing today. I'm able to reuse them. I don't have to trim them. They apply so quickly, so easily. Now for a beginner, you might be going, Tati, why are you even recommending lashes? I'm just throwing it in the mix because I personally think it's super easy to skip the eyeshadow altogether and just place a good set of falsies and it will really, really give you a wow factor with zero effort aside from putting the lashes on when it comes to your eyes. So these are very affordable, you know, three, four bucks. And if you're just wanting to experiment with lashes, don't go out and spend $30 on the ones that you see on Instagram. Just go and get some Ardell from the drugstore. If you want super, super natural, the Ardell 110s are like the training wheels, baby lashes, start there and then build up to your wispies. For mascara, I really love the Essence Mascara. I've talked about that one a bajillion million times, but then I am also so hooked on this Collab Mascara. Any of them I love. This is the Love Your Curves Extreme Curl and Sculpt. I feel like this just lifts the lashes and helps them to stay curled so that you can skip another step, which is curling your lashes with one of these guys, which I do recommend, but also I know that the mornings get rushed and sometimes you don't have time to do like this, that, this. So if you wanna skip that step, Get a curling lifting mascara that is gonna make your lashes look really you know, fluffy and big and long and volumized, but also have a formula that helps that curl to stay. And I think this is the best one for that. For your brows, I would recommend starting out with just an angled brow brush. Pick one up from the drugstore. They have tons of them from Ego Tools or Sonia Kashuk at Target, but grab a slanted brow brush like so and you can even go into your palette depending on you know what kind of a look you're going for. If you like deeper, more rich browns, you might have to purchase a separate palette. But for me and for most people, you can actually just go into an eyeshadow, grab it, and just start sculpting out the brows. You don't have to do a pomade and a gel and a liner. And like if you're just getting the hang of it, skip those steps use a powder, see how you feel having that filled in just a little bit and then build from there. So one that I really like, and you can pick this up at Ulta, is from Ilure. And this is just three shades that, you know, they have like medium, they have dark, they have a lighter one for blonde hair. And I love that they have something that you can highlight with, this cream right here, and then you have your brow. And then you do have a waxy one, which you can apply the same way with your brush and just kind of sculpt through. So I would recommend using something like this over a pencil at first. And if you enjoy using this kind of a thing, then move into a pencil. And a really good one that I am loving so much right now is the Quick Brow from Jordana. It just has the nicest point on here and a really good texture that is waxy, powdery, 
and not overly pigmented. So for a beginner, this is a really great option and they have a nice color range and of course not crazy expensive um, because nowadays you walk into the drugstore and it's not even just like, we're at the drugstore, budget friendly everything. It's like, no, we're at the drugstore and it's like $20 for a foundation. So there are even different like tiers at the drugstore and Jordana is just one that I think is priced amazingly. So moving on, we're going to chat about lips and I feel like that's one of the items that you go to the drugstore and it's really fun to purchase, but it's also super easy to get overwhelmed and to pick up a bunch of things that you don't need. So let's narrow this down. What you need as a beginner in your starting out makeup kit is a bold statement lip, which I'm going to suggest going with red and then also a good everyday neutral. So for a great neutral, lip look. This is my favorite liner and I had to show you that I have two right in front of me and I probably have like two more in a drawer behind me and I'm a girl that has access to a ton of makeup, a ton of liners and this is one of my favorites just like across the board. I think it is beautiful. It is a sharpened pencil so make sure that you are sharpening it. I use this so often. It is ridiculous. It goes with like every single lip look. It is flattering on many different skin tones and it will just kind of do that your lips but better situation where it's just giving you emphasis and outline. You can put on a chapstick, a uh, clear gloss. You can put a lipstick on top of it. It just works with so much. This is the shade four and this is the color statement lip liner from Milani. For our statement red, I really love this one so much, you guys. I know, like it feels probably like I am sponsored by Sally's Beauty. I'm not. I like went to Sally's. I grabbed the keys after that one video and I was like, I need everything. So this is a beautiful, beautiful red. How, I mean like, come on, stop it. We're gonna put this on right now so that you guys can see. It'll match my nails today. I'm kind of, I'm feeling that whole holiday matchy matchy type of a vibe. So um, before I put on the red, I will show you actually this guy right here from Makeup Academy is a really pretty nude. Look at this, okay? Two seconds. Every girl needs a good nude neutral gloss. Whether you lean more clear or something kind of creamy like this, you need a good gloss. You can layer it on top of everything. You can wear it alone. It can add a little bit of zhuzh to just a very basic makeup day. And I think it is very smart to have just a pretty neutral gloss. This is one of my all time faves. It is number 110 Bear. And this is from Makeup Academy. If you don't have a CVS in your area, because I believe this is only sold in CVS here in the States, then I would recommend the NYX Slip Tease lip lacquer. This has a little more pigmentation to it, but it is a beautiful, beautiful gloss. And of course they have a ton of different shades. Very, very easy to apply. Lasts a long time on the lips and I love it. I will have more lip recommendations in my best of the year. If you want like a solid Tati recommends type of a list, then that is on its way. But I just wanted to give you like the breakdown of the kit. So here we go. We're putting on our red. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now we're putting on the Koki Lip Powder in Garnet. Honestly, a bold lip is the quickest way to look like an expert with your makeup. Just put everything else on from your brows to your mascara, of course, all your face products. You can forget the liner, forget the shadow, forget everything else. Just pop that lip on and everything looks so done and very detailed and like you really put that time in. So that is why in your beginner kit, I really recommend getting a red lip. Now you can go with a berry lip, you can go with something bright and more vivid if you like fuchsias, just something fun that you feel fits your skin tone and that looks good on you. And that is all you need. So we've covered everything with the face. I think the last thing I will leave you with is a good setting spray. Pixie gets it done as far as softening up the look of your makeup altogether. 
I really like the Milky Mist. I am out of that one, but I love the Vitamin Makeup Mist as well. I have one more kind of cherry on top item that is a bit extra and slightly advanced. So we have, again, like the easy and then the harder and, you know, take your pick. This is something from Pro Fusion. I also like the BH Contour Palette as well, but I think that you can get a beautiful contour palette on a budget, you have a lot to work with here. And if you are someone that just wanted to focus on the face and you don't even want to do shadow, then I would recommend going with something like this because you have different tones that you can work with as eyeshadow, as well as these more pigmented powders that are brighter that you could use on the lid as well. So that's another option if you want to make it super easy and kind of lose a few items here and there, you know, kind of pick and choose and put a kit together that makes sense for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Let me know that you want to see more things like this, broken down beginner makeup, more advanced makeup, makeup for your eye shade, makeup for a rainy day, sunny day. Just leave me those requests, guys. I love hearing from you. I read everything. And I have so many cool videos planned. I am really excited about the new year. I've been very like into my research and doing video ideas and challenges and luxury reviews and more drugstore stuff. So so make sure that you ring that bell so you are notified of all my upcoming videos. Again, I am here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST. So you know what? Even if you don't get notified, you can come on back and I will be right here ready to hang out and play with more makeup. All right, guys, go have a good one and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.